Hey guys, welcome back to your episode of Cast. I'm here with Carson. So Carson, tell us about yourself. What's up? Um, first of all, thank you for having me. And I am a musician, uh, independent artist, social media person, I guess. Uh, I play piano and talk box are my main things. So yeah, that's a little bit about myself. Oh, I live yeah. in Chicago. <laughs> well. Great. So let's get straight into one of the reasons you kind of blew up. <laughs> okay. Um, the talk box. So when did you first get the talk box? Um, so I first got uh, my first talk box was sometime around this time last year. I got one and it was like a really bad, it was like pretty used uh, talk box. I got it off of a friend. And I got it and I totally sucked. So I was like, oh, I'm going to practice it, you know, try and make something cool out of it. Because originally I just got it because it was like, it looked pretty, it looked pretty dope. But it was like a novelty thing. So I got it. And I was like, man, it's pretty cool. I, I like should try keep getting better at this. So yeah, sometime around this time last year. Great. So you're really good at it and just in one year. So that's Thank pretty you. interesting. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how like uh it was actually pretty like easy to to learn like um uh, since i come from like a piano background it like translates really well uh so i kind of lucked out in that way but yeah super sick yeah so i have watched like so many of your tiktoks and i still don't understand how it works so <laughs> like can you explain kind of how it works sure so um yeah so if you are not familiar with TalkBox it's like it kind of sounds like a robot singing that's like an easy way to describe it so pretty much what I do is I have this synthesizer that outputs uh, audio into this TalkBox and the TalkBox is pretty much like a standalone thing that's separate from a synth or from your voice that is pretty much like a speaker uh, that has like a tube that comes out of it so it redirects the synth audio into like this talk box speaker and then it goes into a tube and then that goes in your mouth so you can like change how the synthesizer sounds so without like putting the tube in my mouth or anything it just sounds like a synthesizer but once you put it in then you can like manipulate the sound to you know whatever you want so yeah it's kind of complicated to <laughs> understand but once you get it then it makes a lot of sense so did that like help a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because like I kind of like felt well knew that it was like connected to a piano, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it goes out of the piano and then into the talk box, into my mouth, and then a lot of people put uh, or a lot of people think that you put effects on it before, uh, like you can like on like if you're recording vocals, like normally you would put like reverb or like compression on like you sing it to the mic and then afterwards you put all that stuff on and then uh with talk box it's kind of the same thing where you do that but a lot of people put the effects on before um i don't know it's pretty complicated so i don't know i don't want to get too music nerd out oh yeah you. don't worry <laughs> don't worry um yeah so why did you decide to start making tiktoks with your talk box Sure. So I pretty much started because of this dude who I follow now. We're like good homies now. His name is Adam to to hear or to her or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce his last name and he's going to kill me. But uh, yeah, he's like an Australian dude who like makes he's like a producer. And uh, I saw a video of him doing it to a J. Cole song uh, workout. And it has like it features like a pretty prominent like talk box thing. And I saw that video and I was like, dude, that's sick. And it was getting a lot of views. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll try it. You know, I can play piano, but really like everyone has seen someone who can play piano. It's not anything special, but this talk box thing, that's cool. It's a new thing. So I kind of, I think I bought the talk box right after I saw his video. Cause I was like, that's so dope. So I bought it right after and I posted the same cover and uh, I think it did pretty well. So I kind of kept with it. Yeah, because I remember like investigating about you uh, a couple minutes ago, like 20 minutes ago. And um, like 
I scrolled down to the bottom of your TikTok, and one of the first one of your TikToks was mm-hmm. uh, "Workout" by J Cole. Yeah, that's the one that he was doing. So yeah. I wanted to be just like him. <laughs> He's so sick. So, like, I think a two months ago, maybe one month ago or weeks ago, maybe, um, you posted yeah. a, a YouTube video about that you're a talk star. Oh, talk star. Yeah. 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 So what is a talk star for people that don't know? Sure. So a talk star is like a, it's a small company based in LA, I think. And they are like the leading talk box company. So they make like, I describe it as like the Gucci of talk boxes. It's like kind of over the top. It's kind of uh, like, uh, it's kind of bougie, but man, it sounds so good. So like I upgraded from the really small dinky talk box to this really dope one. And I'm like sponsored by them. So I get to do a lot of things with them. And they sent me their talk box. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a dream come true. They're like the the talk box. So yeah, I got in touch with them at, do you know this music convention called NAM? So it's like no. a big, it's like a big like convention center fold with like, musicians and then a bunch of vendors come it's pretty much like a music vendor show it's like disney world for musicians and i got to meet them there uh the guys behind the company and they were like oh dude we saw your videos like you're pretty sick and then we finally got it worked out and uh yeah they've been amazing that's a really cool story so (laughs) (laughs) yeah so like what are your goals for your music and tiktok Dang. Um, my goals right now with my music, I want to like hit every, I want to like, I don't want to limit myself. That's my, my main thing that I'm working on right now. Like I want to like branch out and do a bunch of other stuff. Like not just the, like the funky, like feeling good type music, like, but really like good music. And I really want to push the talk box to its limits. Like a lot of people have like a lot of the talk box artists who are out right now they like i feel like the talk box has been kind of like stagnant and it hasn't moved a lot in the past like 10 20 years or whatever it seems pretty stagnant so i want to just like take it to the next level and do some like crazy stuff uh i really want to like make the talk box as expressive as possible so that's like one of my main goals to like push the the boundaries of what's what people are doing right now but I mean that might be like a pretentious thing to say but I would love to do that it'd be so cool yeah I feel like it's very important to not limit yourself because if Mm -hmm. you do like let's say you're doing one style of music I don't know pop pop. and then if you limit yourself to pop you you might never know if like something else might work out for you so right yeah, right. it's very important to not limit yourself. Yeah, like on my, I released an EP like last month, I think, around this time. And Congrats. that one, oh, thank you. Uh, I, like a lot of the songs on it were just like way different from each other. They're all kind of the same vibe, like poppy, funky, whatever. And then there's one like really up-tempo, dancey one. And then there's also a song like hidden in there that's uh like a, Someone just, I saw a comment, someone said it was like acid jazz meets like Kendrick Lamar or something like that kind of vibe. So like, you know, the, I think the boundaries are like, they're ready to be broken and I'm, I want to do that. That's funny. Jazz means Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> yeah, man. So what do you think are your biggest accomplishments so far in like music and TikTok? Mm. Dang. My biggest accomplishment, I don't know. I think my biggest accomplishment so far has been able to make a living off of it. Like being able to, you know, quit my job and do music full time. Like, especially especially now for musicians, like it's hard to make money because there's no gigs happening. Um, So like, I'm like so grateful that I can have this platform where I can make a living doing my own music and like, being in the position I'm in it's just been amazing like that's one of my big accomplishments and then I guess on TikTok I've 
I wouldn't say it's an accomplishment, but like I got to meet, I get to meet a lot of cool people and talk to a lot of dope people, like some collaborations that I never thought would ever happen. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. So on the topic of collaboration, who is like the one person you want to collab with? Dang. Uh, <laughs> like I have so many people like, I think one that I would love to collaborate with is like, I met some dude who like has low key and in with like Kendrick. Uh, so that would be like a dream come true. I think it'd be so dope to do something with him or like a really cool like hip hop artist. Also like in the production world, like in like the EDM world, I'd love to do some stuff there. And uh, yeah, like I did a, I don't know if it's out yet, but I did a song for like an EDM artist and that was like super fun. Um, but like, honestly, like anyone, I think that'd be so dope. Like, I really want to get more into like the hip hop world. That's my next thing I want to do. Yeah, for sure. great. So yeah. what's your favorite TikTok you have done? Ooh, um, I did one that I like a pretty recent one I did was really fun. I did like a, it's like a song for, it's like a song from this, uh, someone made an Overwatch parody song or something like that. And I, I did it cause I thought it was like, it's like a song that was like a meme, but it's like low key good but you don't want to admit it's good. So that was fun. And then also I did a cover of, dang, what did I do a cover of? It was a Kanye West song, Bound 2. That was really fun. Uh, and also like doing, a, I did a collab with uh, 24K Golden. That was really dope. And then also with Jason Derulo. That was pretty crazy too. So there's a lot to choose from. I don't know if I could just pick one. <laughs> those are some great choices and it's amazing how because of the tiktok you have been able to collab with like 24k golden and jason derulo which is amazing pretty crazy stuff <laughs> now i just gotta get on one of their records that'd be <laughs> that'd be so cool yeah so what's your favorite thing about tiktok and least favorite thing about tiktok Ooh. uh uh i'd say my favorite thing about it is it gives like artists like uh like i come from like the musician side of most things so like it gives an opportunity for artists to really like show their music without like breaking the bank or like selling their soul to a label or something like that uh not actually selling their soul but like you know what i'm saying like signing a contract or whatever yeah like a lot of my friends have just like gotten so many like new listeners and new opportunities just from like posting videos and it's like it's literally like free advertising which is like yeah. really insane like once you crack the code then it's like just you win especially like uh like tiktok is like a lot of it's based around music so you know those musicians who like really do well it translates really well to like their streaming platform so that's that's really dope like for me and for a lot of my friends, like this girl, uh, like Abigail Barlow is like a, she released a song called Heartbreak Hotel that was just like, uh, it did really well on TikTok and then it like hit Billboard or something like that. And it's just like so sick to see some of my friends. Uh, I mean, we've never met, but we're like, we like talk sometimes, I guess. But she's really dope. And then, uh, yeah, just like being able to find new artists, like the amount of new people I've been able to find from the app is really dope. And I think my least favorite thing is a lot of it is like oversaturated and really it's very hard to stand out and also get like views and likes and stuff like that. It's very easy to use a song that's pretty popular and then do a dance and get views and like follow trends. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the stuff that I really like about music and about, you know, creating stuff is being really different and you have to like, uh, like appreciate it to get it. But, but I mean, like not everyone's attention span is like that good. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's a me problem or if it's a TikTok problem, but uh, 
also like duets are confusing that's my other thing <laughs> yeah I, I sometimes like the reverse duets are even more confusing <laughs> yeah oh dude absolutely um so yeah i, I have definitely found a, a lot of like of my favorite like youtubers because of tiktok and so oh. many people have grown like so many people use tiktok to advertise like their podcasts or like their youtube yeah and they get like over a thousand listeners just because of tiktok so that's why I'm, so yeah i'm trying to like promote my podcast on tiktok by posting like clips so yeah oh dude absolutely <laughs> so that, that's sick <laughs> yeah so moving on to the next question what tiktok do you think made you go viral oh the say so one i did a cover of say so by doja cat and yeah that's easily the my biggest one and my most like a lot of people reference that video it's almost a year old i think in a few days or really? a couple of weeks yeah oh i think God. i i have something pretty exciting planned for it so the one year anniversary uh that one was crazy. I got a lot of, I got on a lot of meme pages. That was also funny. But that one was amazing. It was like overnight, I think, or it was like kind of still for like a few days. And then one night I went to bed and I woke up and it was at 500K views. And then throughout the day, get more views. And then um, I think there was one day that was just like skyrocketing, like, 10 or 5 million views a day for like like a few weeks it was just ridiculous it was that was easily my my most popular one congrats on that tiktok this didn't have like 40 <laughs> 20 million views or something i think right now it's at close to 60 million okay yeah pretty insane <laughs> yeah because you have like three tiktoks that have over 10 million views right there's like some yeah. of them mm-hmm so, yeah. Insane. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> like, since you do a lot of music, who was like your inspiration for music or TikTok? Or, like both of them. Mm. Um, I think someone that I look up to who does music on TikTok is that girl Abigail Barlow. If you don't, if anyone doesn't know her, definitely check her out. She's super dope, and. Her and this girl, Blue the Tiger, she's a bassist. And she also, uh, she had a really popular song like a couple of months ago called Figure It Out. It was like the, or yeah, it was a pretty popular song. And just like, they are so authentic and also are very smart about business stuff. And they're very genuine. And yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about both of them. They're like, my big whenever I see them post I'm like oh man I should probably post more <laughs> or like because they're they're so good yeah those are some good choices for your inspirations mm -hmm. but this part of that is going by so quick there's one question left okay <laughs> which is do you have any advice for musicians or tiktokers man don't listen to anyone that's my advice. Just do what, do what you are good at and what you're like, do what you're best at. And that's being yourself. You know, you can't fake being someone else and you're already sick, you know, the way you are. So you don't have to like, people will follow you and they'll like your stuff. If you're, you're authentic and you're you, I mean, like, there are some people like their personalities shine more on different platforms, but I mean, like there'll be that one time where it really works out for you and you'll like find your, your place. Like, and also like from like a social media point of view, like find your niche and really go with that. Like, don't try and be a dancer. If you're not, don't try and be a comedian. If you're not funny, uh, like, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Just do what you love. Like I know some someone who has like, uh, they're like 19 and they like love Nerf Nerf guns, and like they have like close to two million followers and they're verified just from like posting Nerf gun videos. Like that's so sick to me. <laughs> like 
you can do anything that's and make insane. a following so yeah be yourself i guess i mean it sounds so boring but it's so <laughs> true yeah because i feel like nowadays it's so easy to like fake like a personality and it's also so easy to like tell you know right not like totally. so easy to like find out that right you can definitely tell when someone's not in it and like mm -hmm. for a long time you know like I go through a lot of phases where I'm not in it so I'll take a break or you know I'll try something new but I'll just do what makes me happy and uh you know I think happiness is pretty important like more so than like fame or money or whatever like if you're happy with the stuff you're doing like that's like all that matters, I think. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that advice. But before we end the podcast, um, where can they find you on like social medias? Sure. So everywhere, I think on Instagram and on TikTok, I'm Carson uh, Smelliot, Carson S M Elliot. I don't know. It's a pretty dumb name, but I'm stuck with it. And uh, on YouTube, I'm Carson Elliot. And then on Spotify and Apple Music and all your streaming stuff, just Carson Elliot. All right. Thank you so much, Carson, for coming on the podcast. I got you, Doug. Dude, I I saw some of your episodes. Like, you're killing it, dude. Thanks. How You're 13, right? I'm 12. 12, dude? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're a beast, man. Thanks. I have nothing but respect. Thank you so killing much. It. I'll see you, and I'll see you next episode of the Nukecast.